You're watching News 9 at 10. Friday night is date night, but for those flying solo, it can be lonely. And we found a book that guarantees if guys follow the guidelines, they will double their dates or get their money back. As Britton Follett tells us, the secret to meeting your match may be more common sense than anything. For the guy who gets nervous talking to the girl on the other side of the room, there's hope. The guy who wrote Double Your Dates says his tips are based on his experiences talking to women. We took those tips out on a Friday night in Oklahoma City. Four years behind a bar and Heather Sampler says she's heard as many pickup lines as she has drink orders. You really couldn't say any of them on camera. The author of Double Your Dates, this online dating book, says those guys are not doing it right. He has the answers. We need to know them. The book says the secret is to be cocky and funny. Like if you approach yourself as cocky and all this, I mean, the girls might get a little hoot and laugh about it, but in the end, he can be sweet and subtle and just, that's how he starts off with it. So, I mean, more or less, I'd like to see it work and to see how it works, I guess, because I'm just used to seeing everything else. Richard Becker, a 27-year-old stand-up comedian by night, says he's already funny and a little cocky. I'm a catch, is what mom says. So, <laughs> I'm a big catch. Let's see if the women on Friday night agree. Listen. Excuse me, miss. What's your name? Leslie. Huh? Leslie? Leslie, it's nice to meet you. The book says Becker should make fun of Leslie if he wants to get a date. You have to get comfortable with one before you make fun of her. What do you got on there? You got shorts, pants. Tweeters. What they called? Wait, I'm just kidding. I don't know. They're long shorts. Long shorts? And the book says he should play hard to get. How long do you have to talk to a guy uh, for him to get your phone number if he's leaving? A little bit longer than that. And it wasn't just one of those, hey, you know, let's go make out. <laughs> you know, it was nice and he seemed interested and, you know, complimented me. Becker got Leslie's phone number. I wouldn't use the word cocky, but he was very confident, very confident. And, and he was humorous and it did work. It was nice. It did work. They want a man. They want someone with confidence. They don't want a guy that's going to want. They don't want a guy that's going to buy them gifts and take them out to dinner and pay for everything on the first, you know, two or three dates. They don't want that because that is a sign of neediness. He got one date, but will he double it? How's your thumb? He's talking to you. Oh, me? Yeah. My thumb. Yeah. Come on, sitting there and text messaging. Becker took it a step further and made fun of her hair before he sealed the deal. How often do you get hit on a I don't know what he's using, but apparently it's working. Becker doubled his dates for the night. Does double your dates work? In this case, it did. I don't believe that that's going to work 100% of the time, no. A tough crack for a guy who's two for two. How long does it take you to like, give your phone number out to strange guys? My boyfriend's right over there, so he might not like it. Even Double Your Dates does not have a chapter on how to win over a woman who's already on a date. 148 pages later, Becker got two numbers. Where it goes from here... If I meet somebody and, and after we embarrass her on News 9 and she's willing to go back out on a second date, then that's, where, that's a keeper right there. The author of the book, David D'Angelo, told us he does not do on-camera interviews. We're not sure if he was telling the truth or just playing hard to get. Might have been giving you a line. All right, Britton. Since we shot the story, Becker has talked to both of the girls. He cooked dinner for Leslie this past week. I saw Becker when he was getting ready to go out that yeah. night. I wouldn't have given him any chances I at all. Know. Look. He pulled it off. <laughs> man, he's the man. Got Must be down. a hot book. <laughs> I know. <laughs> he's a catch. Yeah, yeah I guess. That's what Mama said. says. <laughs> Moms are always right. So. All righty. Let's take a look at the weather.